Louis Vuitton have just released their hottest bag for the season. The Louis Vuitton Alma backpack. Yes, you heard me right. The Alma has been reborn into a backpack and that's going to be the hottest Louis Vuitton backpack or maybe hottest designer backpack for this season. But this gorgeous mini backpack comes with a big hefty hefty price tag in us dollars the monogram version is two thousand four hundred and seventy dollars whereas the epi version is two thousand seven hundred dollars now wait till you hear the australian prices so the monogram version is four thousand australian dollars and the epi version is four thousand two hundred australian dollars that is not for me she is gorgeous but that's not a price tag I want to be paying. But you know me, I've got the vintage Louis Vuitton alternatives to show you. And they're going to be a little bit bigger. So they're going to be a bit more practical. And the price point is going to be a lot more reasonable. Now for each alternative, I'm going to go through the price. We're going to look at mod shots, pictures of the bag side by side and dimensions. So let's start off with the Ulma Epi backpack. So they've released this in black Epi and orange Epi and it's like a neon orange and you can see this new version of Epi has the diagonal lines whereas traditionally Epi has horizontal lines. So the Ulma Epi backpack is being sold for $2,700 versus under $700 for the vintage Louis Vuitton Mabillon backpack and I've actually got one here in my hot little hands. So that's a savings of over $2,000 or 74% off. That is a massive savings and not only that I managed to score mine for 600 Australian dollars which is under 400 US dollars. So I did really well in scoring mine and I unboxed this bag for Christmas 2023. So just three months ago. So I'll leave the unboxing video here for you. So let's take a look at some mod shots. So you can see they're very comparable in the mod shots, but you can see the Mabillon is overall bigger. The Alma backpack is only about two thirds of the size of the Mabillon backpack. And even though my Mabillon backpack doesn't have a padlock, I believe they originally were sold with a padlock. So you can still find some pre-loved listings that come with the original padlock otherwise you can just buy yourself one on the pre-love market if you really want one I didn't care too much so I haven't gotten one yet but you can see the shape and the vibe of these two bags are very similar you can wear both as a traditional backpack on your back or you can hold both in your hands the Alma has a top handle whereas the Mabillon comes with this gold ring which you can hold it by so let's take a look at pictures of the bag side by side. So here they are from the front. So you can see that top handle of the Alma bag versus the gold ring on the Mabillon backpack, which makes holding the Alma by the top handle more comfortable versus the Mabillon. The Alma does come with a key bell or clochette and the Mabillon does not, even though I believe it did originally come with a padlock, but you can just get your own clochette or key bell pre-loved on, or on an aftermarket website. So you can see here, the Alma has the diagonal epi, whereas the Mabillon has the horizontal epi. They do both have a double zip design. So if we look at the bags on the side, you can see that both bag zippers do extend very far down the side of the bag, meaning you can open the bag very nice and wide. And on the back, you can see the Ulma straps are both detachable and adjustable. Whereas with the Mabillon, yes, you can adjust them, but it's not detachable. You could detach them from the bottom but it's still going to be attached at the top. So there's no point doing that really. And one thing I want to point out about the Mabillon, which I didn't realize myself until I actually bought the bag and had it in my hands, is the straps are actually attached to the bag on the top, on the front of the bag, not on the back. So what this means is when you're trying to zip and unzip your bag, the straps are actually going to be in the way and obstructing the path of the zipper. So to unzip the bag, you actually do have to move the strap out of your way to be able to now have a clear path for the zipper. So that was something that I didn't realize until I had the bag in my hand, which does mean there is going to be some inconvenience when zipping and unzipping your bag, but it also does help with security, that making it harder for pickpockets to steal things out of your bag. Now the Mabillon does have a back pocket, whereas the Alma backpack does not. So for all you back pocket lovers out there, you might love that. And this is a nice big wide back pocket too very nice and wide so you can definitely fit a phone back there 
Now let's compare the interior. So the Alma has a lining with a monogram pattern, whereas the Mabillon has an Alcantara lining and they both have an internal slip pocket. And the Mabillon also comes with this little D-ring here so you can attach keys or a little pouch. So let's take a look at the dimensions. So I have them on the screen for you, but to summarize, the Mabillon is overall bigger than the backpack in both height and length, but their width is actually really similar. The Mabillon is actually 0.4 of an inch smaller in width compared to the Alma. Now the Alma strap drop is also longer, but maybe that's because the Alma is a smaller handbag, therefore it has a longer strap drop. So cast your votes down below. Are you team Alma backpack or are you team Mabillon backpack? I'm a Mabillon owner and I've loved this backpack for many years before I finally pulled the trigger on buying one in December, Christmas, 2023. And this comes in a ton of different colors. You've got black, you've got Tassil yellow, you've got Toledo blue, you've got Mocha brown, you have Kenyan fawn, which is another one of my favorite colors. There's also vanilla. So if you're loving the idea of many color choices, definitely the Mabillon is one to look out for. Now, if you guys are loving the idea of vintage alternatives to Louis Vuitton's hottest bags, I've actually done a ton of these videos. So I've done the Louis Vuitton hot release denim collection. I've done the Louis Vuitton pochette accessoires new model, the Salmo BB, and alternatives to the classics like the Louis Vuitton Speedy, the Louis Vuitton Neverfull, Louis Vuitton pochette Matisse. So if you're loving those types of videos, I'm gonna link them all in the description box down below for you. So bag number two, this is the Alma in the monogram backpack now. And my vintage alternative is the Ellipse Sacado backpack. So the Ulmer backpack in the monogram is being sold for 2,470 US dollars. Whereas you can find the vintage Louis Vuitton Ellipse Sacado backpack for under $700. So that's a savings of over $1,700 or 70% off. So let's check out some mod shots. So again, you can see these two bags are very comparable. You can wear them both as a normal backpack or hold them by the hand. So again, these two backpacks are giving very similar vibes, even though the Ellipse Sacado is a bit bigger, but it's still itself a small backpack. You can wear them on your back or you can hold them by hand. The Ellipse Sacado, similar to the Mabillon, also has this gold ring that you can hold it by. Okay, so let's take a look at the pictures of the bag side by side. So from the front, we can see that Alma top handle. Now we can see a lot of vachetta going on here. The Alma has a lot of vachetta. The Sacado has quite a bit of vachetta. So the Alma's got vachetta top handle and straps. And the vintage Sacado ellipse backpack has vachetta straps and also vachetta detailing. But the Alma, like a classic Alma, has a Vachetta bottom. Now that can be quite scary for some people, particularly the ones who do not like water spots. So that's something to consider when looking at the monogram versions. Again, the Alma has the key bell or the clochette versus the vintage Sacado ellipse, which does not. I believe that bag probably came with a padlock originally as well, but not a key bell. And again, you'll find a lot on this pre-love market of the Ellipse Vintage Sack of Dough bag that does not have a padlock, but you can just get your own on pre-love websites or aftermarket websites. So here they are from the side. So again, we can see that zipper, the double zips, extend very far down the sides, meaning you can open your bags very widely and get your things in and out. Now from the back, you can see neither bag has a back pocket. The Alma has both detachable and adjustable straps, whereas the Ellipse Sacado only has adjustable straps. It's not detachable. So similar to the Mabillon, you could attach it from the bottom if you wanted to, but it's still attached to the top, so there's no real point in doing that. And the interior, so we have a beautiful red Alcantara lining for the Alma backpack, whereas we have a fabric lining on the Ellipse Sacado backpack. Now this is the same fabric lining that you'll find in the other Ellipse bags as well. So they kept that kind of consistent across the Ellipse range. And if you aren't familiar, they have the Vintage Ellipse PM, GM, Shopper Tote, and recently they did re-release the Ellipse PM again. And back in 2022, they did release a mini Ellipse too. So this Ellipse has been re-released a few times already. So let's take a look at the dimension. So I do have them on the screen for you, but just to summarize, so the Ellipse Sacado backpack is overall bigger in the height and the width. But something I do want to point out about the Ellipse Sacado is the base is actually shorter in length compared to the Alma. And that's because 
because of that ellipse shape. So if you take a look, it goes skinny at the top, wide in the middle, and then skinny again at the bottom. So that is something to consider if you're thinking about how you're going to pack the things into your bag. It does have a skinnier base. And the strap drop on the Ulma is also longer, but that could be, again, because it's a smaller backpack. Now, cast your votes down below. Are you team Ulma or are you team Vintage Ellipse Sakado? The Vintage Ellipse Sakado is definitely a backpack that I do want to eventually collect for my collection. I've been thinking about this handbag for a few years now, so I'm definitely team Vintage Ellipse Sakado. Now, if you haven't already seen, I discuss an article that's very relevant for us Lux lovers on the topic of hiding purchases from our significant other. So if you want to join the discussion on that topic, I'm going to leave that video here for you to carry on with next.